What's the difference between design thinking, design sprints, and agile sprints? Some combination of this always comes up. First of all, I would recommend you watching the video I made called what's the difference between design thinking and design sprints because that will help you get the first part of the puzzle. I'll go through it quickly here, but I'm gonna be mostly focusing on what's the difference between these two and agile sprints. So design sprints are basically a step-by-step -step system for solving big problems as a team. So a team comes together, they don't know exactly what product they wanna make yet, they have some ideas of what they wanna do, but they still haven't validated whether anybody really wants this thing yet. So it's a step-by-step -step system that allows a team to come together, solve big problems, and at the end of the week, have a prototype that they can test with real users. Now at AJ and Smart, we do a four-week process where we have two design sprints in there, and at the end of those two design sprints, essentially, you have the results, which is a high fidelity prototype that's been already tested in two rounds, which is essentially ready to be turned into the MVP or the minimum viable product, or essentially like the very first version of the app. Now, this means that the design sprint is a system for essentially coming up with ideas and validating ideas. Agile sprints have nothing to do with that. Now, the name obviously makes them a bit tricky, but Agile Sprints are essentially a system within a company for getting things developed. So if you would finish your design sprint and you have all of your screens and everything ready and you're saying, this is what we want to do. This is the app we want to make. This is how it's supposed to look. And basically we, we want to make an, a, an early version of this app. Then if your company is running an Agile system within your company, so Agile development, Basically everything from the design sprint gets handed over to the developers or the product team and entered into the backlog, so broken up into smaller pieces and prioritized. And Agile is essentially a system for getting that executed. So an Agile process within a company is basically that the developers themselves work in sprints and many companies have their own way of doing that. It's often two weeks. And essentially that means they're gonna work on a specific part of the app for two weeks and work on actually getting that finished. So Agile Sprints are for executing the work that's done after something is validated. And the Design Sprint is something for validating ideas. So they're not really related at all. It's just that the word Sprint was taken from Agile Sprints and put into Design Sprints to make it sound kind of cooler. So the difference between these two is very clear. This is for validating and creating new product ideas and this is for actually executing and making the product. This has no, there's no like creativity built into this part, okay? So this is after ideas have been generated and things have been put into the backlog. Now, if you're a product manager watching this and you're saying, well, actually in our Agile Sprints, we have ideation built in every six weeks or something like that. Yes, that's, that's something that I've seen as well in a lot of companies, but I just wanna clarify that Agile is more of a process of executing and actually creating software, whereas Design Sprints is something more about taking an idea to something a bit more tangible and, and validating it. Okay, so hopefully that's clear. I'll actually just make the, so Design Sprints are about validating, let's say product ideas, and agile sprints are for executing, developing the software, okay? So actually, usually a design sprint would come before the agile sprint. Now, the difference between design thinking and design sprints, this is just something I'm gonna to touch on really quickly, like I said, because there's a video you can watch. But the difference here is the design sprint is a very strict step-by-step -step recipe for validating product ideas. Whereas design thinking is a more open process, lots of different exercises you can try, a mindset and a philosophy for sort of understanding the user and working from a user-centered perspective. The design sprint takes the philosophies of design thinking and turns it into a recipe. One way of thinking about it is Design thinking is kind of like the OS, like Mac OS or iOS, it's the system. And the design sprints are an app for executing one very specific thing out of that. So design sprints are a recipe, are an applied execution of design thinking. So for me, that's a simple way of looking at the difference between design thinking, design sprints, and agile sprints. 
this is your operating system. This is like all the things you can do and all the things you can pull from if you want to get the user perspective on a problem, even helping you find the problem. Design sprints are a recipe that helps you validate whether some ideas are right or wrong and also helps you come up with ideas. Agile sprints are, you know, once you're actually ready to execute and create something within a company. So these are these things are not related, but generally this will come after this. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I know that was super simple. And if you're a product manager, you might be rolling your eyes and saying, why did, why did you even make this video? It's a really common question that we get from you know, our clients and also a lot of the community. So there's a reason we make it. Don't type in the comments, hey, everyone knows this, whatever. There's, there's people who wanted this video. That's why we're making it. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope this lo-fi, echoey, I don't know, maybe not high quality approach was okay. Uh, make sure you check out the other videos in our channels. We've got hundreds of videos on workshops, design sprints, design thinking, all of that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Do let us know if the, in the comments if you have a better explanation for these three things. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great one.